Mr. Sharma, please uh, introduce yourself to our uh, viewers. Well, I'm um, Sudhir Sharma. I'm Minister for Urban Development, um, Government of uh, Himachal Pradesh in India. Of the state? Of the state, yes. yes. Uh, please uh, explain, just in a few words, where you are now, so that everybody understood. Well, um, we are visiting Skyway facilities uh, in Minsk, and uh, it was about uh, a year back when we heard about uh, the Skyway technologies and Mr. Anatoly. And because of our climatical conditions and geographical conditions back in India, uh, we thought that Skyway would be very appropriate kind of technologies uh, to be introduced for passenger and both freight um, in our part of country because uh, we are situated up north, it's a mountainous region, and we are very prone to um, earthquakes. It's a seismic zone uh, 5 uh, as it is rated. Uh, so Dharamshala and the soil is very fragile. Uh, we are also uh, doing a ropeway there, but ropeway, uh, you know, its life uh, is about 10 years. Needs replacement after every 10 years. And as far as Skyway is concerned, its uh, life is lifespan is say around about 100 years, and uh, it's more passenger friendly, uh, less power consumption, very economical to construct. Uh, so. Uh, we uh, want to be first ones um, in, the world. in the world to introduce this um, transport well, system. You are. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> so there are very many countries that would uh, like to be in uh, your place, to be the first ones to uh, say host uh, the Skyway technology. And uh, as far as I know, you have uh, a really interesting. Um, um, sightseeing places and uh, well, uh, Dalai Lama that's residing in your territory, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, are these also the reasons that you are looking for Skyway? Because it can uh, serve as a tourist attraction as well, because it's something new and uh, unseen until now. Oh, yes, because uh, we have uh, about 1.5 million people, uh, tourists, um, who are traveling to Dharamshala every year. The number is uh, uh, increasing uh, every year. To only one city? Uh, to only one city, uh, that is Dharamshala. And uh, the main attractions are obviously, it's the seat of His Holiness the Dalai Lama, plus um, uh, for adventure sports, trekking, and uh, also to visit uh, Hindu temples. Uh, and as it is connected very well with the road uh, and uh, uh, air connectivity is good for Dharamshala. Uh, so uh, when we have such a huge number of people coming from outside just visiting. Um, we just want to do away with the congestion on the existing road network, um, as I told you, for both passenger and uh, freight, so that you know uh, the mobility uh, in the town is very easy. Uh, there should not be in rush hours uh, during the uh, peak uh, season, and people should commute very uh, easily. So uh, I think that will be uh, uh, a great idea to have a Skyway uh, in Dharamshala. Thank you. So now you are in the, uh, you find yourself in the territory of the Eco Techno Park near Minsk, Belarus. So you have already seen the uh, Unibus and the Unibike. So what are your impressions uh, of a, uh, as a person that uh, saw it uh, with your own eyes? Um, I saw a Unibus, uh, it's more stable, um, noise is very low, um, and I think um, it is sustainable. Uh, so it will be, uh, I think, one of the uh, um, discoveries which will uh, replace bullet trains and uh, monorails and ropeways in future. Thank you. So do you, s so, uh, well, what is there? So are you, <laughs> I don't know how to formulate my question. Mm -hmm. So are the chances of Skyway to win, say, your uh, tender uh, of your town or your city, whatever you call it, Dharamshala, uh, high, higher or lower than before? So do you think that Skyway will be built in your city or will there be a, any other type of no transport. I think we'll we'll go for Skyway only and 
uh, it will enhance the um, uh, tourism uh, cap uh, capacity of the town and also it will uh, indirectly uh, you know uh, increase the economy of the area because the higher the number of tourists uh, goes up um, my community is benefited directly indirectly both ways and in future uh, we also uh, wish to connect uh, the capital city of shimla with dharmshala so uh, as i'm told that skyway can reach speeds up to 500 um, uh, kilometers per city, hour in the city so if we connect both our capitals which is shimla and dharmshala uh, in future uh, so it will take just 35 minutes from dharmshala to shimla uh, whereas now if i travel by bus it takes me nine hours if i travel by my own car it takes me five hours uh well really impressive uh so uh when do you plan this um, uh, this project to be implemented and where do you plan to take the money from oh we, uh, i think we'll be signing the mou when uh, your team is visiting india in may uh, for smart city conclave and from there we uh, move further i think uh, by august end um, we start uh, with things and we would like to uh, float the expression of interest and rope in um, the investors and uh, other partners who make this possible for us thank you very much i wish us all success and uh, we'll all be looking forward to our uh, fruitful and mutually beneficial cooperation sure definitely pleasure meeting you thank you thank you